Innova Disc Golf has one of the most vast distance driver lineups on the market from Masters players favorite, the Innova Mamba, all the way up to the professional level's favorite distance driver, the Star Destroyer. Innova's pretty much found a way to make it all, but with those all-star distance drivers, they had to have come out with a few duds, right? <laughs> well, today I have one of those duds right here. You heard it right. We're bringing back Weird Stuff Wednesday and I have a very weird distance driver from Innova Discs. This is a 10-5, minus four turn, and then a one or a two fade distance driver. We've got the champion Monarch here. I was poking through the use bin, found this little halo bad girl in the use bin. Was super pumped to give it a throw. Have, haven't actually given it a toss yet. So you're gonna see my first throw live. We're bringing back Weird Stuff Wednesday. I couldn't be more excited. We're going to be comparing it to some other extremely random minus three slash minus four distance drivers. But what makes the Champion Monarch so terrible is the shape. So the shape of this disc never was popular for a very good reason. It has this extremely uncomfortable ridge on the, on the uh, wing here. So it's got a very bizarre wing, definitely never caught on. And basically every, I've gone through hundreds of used bins and almost every single used bin basically has brand new PFN Monarchs in it because nobody likes it. They fly like poop from what I hear. But we're gonna find out here live today on Iceberg TV. Wait a minute. Do I need to change the title? Innova's greatest distance driver ever made? And we're also gonna throw the Constellation Leo minus three distance driver. That's a beauty. Then we've got this Hades here, minus three distance driver from Discraft. Getting a nice baby turn with a good fade at the end. And then although this destroyer is not a minus three or a minus four, a lot of you guys probably missed my review of this disc, the new lightweight Halo Destroyer. This is a disc for you power throws out there that you're gonna get a really nice turn out of and nice maximum distance lines. This one's 163. Let's give it a toss and then we'll go grab everything and throw it back. Uh-oh, if the Monarch outdrives the Halo Star Destroyer, I might have to eat my own words and change the title of this video. All right, I'm pretty surprised by the performance of the Monarch. I couldn't feel it when I was throwing, but it was actually a pretty substantial wind coming this way. So we're gonna go back into the headwind. We'll throw the randoms first, and then we'll throw the Monarch. Let's see how it can hold up into a pretty stiff headwind here. We'll start off with the Hades. It's a pretty beefy Hades. That's one I can really trust even into a headwind. Then we've got the Constellation Leo. That thing actually flies pretty good. That disc is surprisingly fun. Then we've got the 163 Destroyer, and then we'll throw the Monarch. Those new Halo Destroyers are money. You can go get one over at Power Grip USA. Use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on your order. All right, the worst driver in it was ever made. Minus four turn, Monarch. Does it fly? Well, there's the turn. All right, the Monarch might actually be insane. I might have to eat my own words today. Hey guys, this is Dylan from the studio. A few different things happened here. My microphone stopped working, and I also threw this Monarch one more time and actually mega turned it all the way into the water on the right and was unable to find it. So after three throws, I did lose the Monarch, but I do think the Monarch might be a little bit underrated. It's actually quite a good flyer, and although it's probably Innova's most unpopular disc as far as distance drivers they've ever made, I definitely think it's worth, if you see one on the used rack just like I did, grab it and try it out. Although it feels funky, and most people think it feels terrible in the hand, 
it's actually not that bad a disc and it was super fun to throw. I know this is like kind of an incomplete review, but I did lose the disc and the microphones died, but I still wanted to share the uh, disc with you guys instead of just, you know, axing the whole project entirely. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.